What's up guys, Joey here from Ugotech and I want to discuss a problem we're having with you guys. So if you see our YouTube videos lately, we've been uploading in 4K because we've been shooting and editing in 4K and that's caused us a few problems along the way. So this is our main editing PC, our editing workstation. We have two really old monitors, uh, BenQ1 and an Asus one. They're decent but not sharp enough. We edit in 4K, we need 4K monitors. Secondly, if you remember like last year we did a PC build video thing with Zen hosted and we built a decent machine but you know like the PC guys out there would cringe because this is using the i7 7740X. It's got a X299 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1060 from ASUS. It used to be a 1050 Ti, now it's a 1060. And for the most part, we've been able to edit 4K content on it, but we decided, let's just go for it. Let's build a new PC. So we have some specs in mind, as you can see here. So what I want is an Intel Core i7-8700K because it'll provide me lots of cores at high clock speeds. It should be good for content creation, rendering, but with those high core speeds, it should also be okay for gaming, which we also want to do, which we can't really do the gaming we want on this machine. Next, of course, we want a Z370 motherboard, and of course, we want an RTX 2080. We want 32 gigs of RAM, an SSD, at least two terabytes of HDD storage, and a decent case and decent power supply. And for peripherals, like, look at this, we're super mismatched. We have these cheapo mouse and headset and a Logitech keyboard. And yeah, so one another idea I have is to just screw it. Let's go full ROG, let's go full Asus Aura Sync because we want to RGB the shit out of this. And the chair, of course. And the chair, of course. We have the Gamdias RGB chair that we reviewed before, also RGB. It's not gonna sync with Asus Aura, but mm, it's fine. And I'm gonna message a few local sellers from Gilmore and to see what they can recommend for us in terms of motherboard, RAM, everything else. Because we have the processor and the graphics card in mind. A few inches later. Hi. Do you have the 8700K in stock? Sent. And let's just copy. And paste that and send it to other shops. I'm also gonna ask about the RTX 2080. Since we're going full Asus Aura, we're probably gonna go for uh, an Asus one like also, like our 1060 here. Sent. So now, I guess we wait. A few moments later. Okay, so we have two replies. Uh, PC Hub and JDM replied. They're both based in Gilmore and yeah, they seem to have the 8700K in stock and we're discussing now the rest of the parts for our evil plan. We're playing the waiting game. 12 seconds later. Okay, so we're making good progress here. JDM by far has been the most helpful. They've helped us in choosing our parts. They've told us we could reserve an RTX 2080. So I think we're gonna call them in a bit to clarify everything. One minute, 37 seconds later. Hi, I, this is Joey Maceda. I messaged you on Facebook earlier. Okay, yes sir. Uh, who's speaking? Sorry? Uh, Aki, sir. Aki, okay. Okay, here's the deal, Aki. Uh, we're building an editing PC that's also gonna be used for gaming. The main parts that we want are an Intel Core i7-8700K, Asus RTX 2080, 32 gigs of RAM. We want an, S an SSD, 2 terabyte hard drive maybe, and a decent power supply and a decent case. Also, we want the whole thing to be Asus Aura Sync ready because we love RGB. What recommendations do you have for the motherboard? For the motherboard, there's Aura Sync is optional. Yeah. We do suggest to get uh -huh. Okay, so Asus Asus Prime Z three seventy E, right? No, sir. No? ROG. 
Okay, so that has RGB headers, correct? For LED strips? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. How about RGB RAM? Suggest so the LED T-Force 9 software, so we're going to check right now. So with T-Force SSD and T-Force RAM, you have that? Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, how about that? Okay, so how about for mass storage? Do you have uh, like a 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda or something? Yes, sir. It's on top. It's on top. Okay. High wattage. Okay, so Corsair HX 1200, right? 1200. Yes. Okay, how about the case? I want something that will last us years, no matter how many upgrades we do. So, ROG, so it's an ROG themed case with a clear side panel, right? Okay, okay. Okay, so with four peripherals, we want a really badass 4K monitor. 4K monitor. Do you have an ASUS monitor? Uh -huh. Okay, so that I'm familiar with that monitor. That's 4K HDR 144Hz G-Sync. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so even our monitor is gonna be out of sync. <laughs> That's perfect, right, Potter? Sure, yeah. Okay. So, monitor down. Okay, so for keyboard, mouse, maybe headphones, anything out of sync? Do you have the Gladius? Yes, sir. Yes, Gladius too. Yeah, yeah, it's on stock. Okay. So Gladius 2. I've tried the Fusion 300 and 500. I think we're okay with the Fusion 300. Alright, sir. Okay. Uh-huh. For the mouse pad. <laughs> we might as well. We might as well. Let's get an Asus ROG mouse pad. Okay. What's that called again? The sick... Ah! ROG Sheath. Sheath. <laughs> Okay, how about for the keyboard? That's a full mechanical keyboard, right? Yes. Uh, blue switches? Yes, sir. Cherry MX Blue? MX Blue, yes. Sir. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So we have the 8700K. Okay. We have the Asus uh, ROG Z370. We have the Asus ROG RTX 2080. 32 gigs of T-Force RGB RAM. Uh, 250 okay. gig TSOS, uh, T Force T Force SSD, two terabyte Seagate Barracuda, and for power supply we have the HX1200. Uh, what's the case again? Uh, for the case, sir. Yeah, the case. Uh, NZXT Noctis, sir. For the case. So for the case we have the NZXT Noctis ROG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For the monitor we have the PG27 UQ. And then all ROG peripherals, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, we forgot. We forgot about the cooler. <laughs> Do you happen to have the Ryuo in stock? Yes, sir. Bagong bago. Okay, the two forty. Okay. Let's go with the 240. We plan to overclock the s*** out of this. Okay, sir. Actually, we're ready to go to the store and 
pick everything up next week, next Wednesday. Yes, September 26th, right? Okay, uh, we'll see you then. Alright, I, I can call you at this number. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sir Aki. Bye bye. We got it, guys. We have the part, so we're gonna pick everything up next week. See you guys next week. Not literally next week, it's gonna be like a few seconds from now when the edit cuts. So, see you then. One week later, it's RTX Day! Alright, so we're on the way to JDM in Gilmore. Have you been to Gilmore? Well, I haven't been, but I heard like. Yeah, so, Gilmore is. It's like the mecca of it's PC the place parts. to be. It's the place to be for PC parts in Micro Manila. Right, right. So you haven't been before at all? No, I haven't been, but I have, I've heard about it and people were talking like it's it's where you need to go if you need PC parts. Uh, what, since it's your first time going now, what are you expecting? Um overwhelmed. Why? Because this will be my first time building PC parts. And I don't really know what to do or what to pick. But then I heard this place has, offers like really good prices, and people are really helpful. Yeah, the staff is really helpful. Like I've been building PCs for like the last six years, and when I started, I had no clue. I had to rely on other content creators. I had to rely on the staff at the store. So. Even if you're even if you're a first timer, it, it's no it's no big deal. Moments later. This is where we are going. Supposedly they already know we're arriving. Supposedly our parts are ready, so let's go in and look for the guy we called. Hello. Excuse me, Sir Aki. Yes, sir. Sir Aki. Sir Aki. Sir. Jolene from Yoga Tech. Yeah, hi. And this is Kim. Hi, ma'am. Uh, I prepared ko na yung ano, yung yung mga items okay. na tech collection. Thank you. So, what do you think? It's your first time inside a Gilmore store. That's a lot of stuff. Same books. <laughs> I don't stuff. I don't even know where to begin. Like if I was here alone, I wouldn't figure my work to get or to yeah, make I mean, I mean if you if you walk in here as a beginner, these guys can help you if if all you have is your budget and your intended use. So let's say you have X amount of budget and you wanna use your PC for gaming. They can suggest what parts you're gonna use. They can build the thing for you, and they have all the warranty. So earlier you mentioned that we're getting the i7. Why not the i9? Would you care to explain, sir? <laughs> yes, sir. She's no, asking. We're, she's we're asking me the i7, right? why we're getting the i7, why not, not the i9. i9. It will depend. Sir. i7, i700 is actually okay, na siya for the editing. So basically, we don't have to bump it up higher higher processor but basically we can get higher video part if ever for the editing so that's why we're getting the rtx by the way sir decrease the cap okay so i already have prepared the item all the items needed 
exciting. Wait, wait, let us interview you first. Uh, yeah. We were just discussing this earlier. What if you're someone like Kim? Like or... me. I haven't built my own PC. Yeah, no experience. Like, no experience at all. If I come here with no one who knows about computers, can they? Can your staff? Okay, basically, help us? Uh, JDM. Uh, what we have right now is we have Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the advantage with that is even yung client is hindi nagu walk. They can uh, inquire through online. So uh, we do answer uh, inquiries sa, sa online and we do uh, give quotation also. So basically, ang ginagawa natin nakakaroon na ng discussion sa, sa sa online, which is specification. The advantage is also they can view reviews sa mga items na uh, sinasuggest namin. Regarding dun sa may question natin uh, about dun sa kung newbie lang ba ako, actually we have lots of client na newbie talaga. So they just gave us the uh, details ng budget nila. So basically ang tanong namin saan bang gamit? For gaming ba or for office? We do suggest and nagbibuild kami the specific the specification na pasok dun sa budget. So next time you go back here you think you could go alone? I think so. <laughs> I think so. How about, how about, I just have to figure out the way <laughs> Actually, the good thing about that is uh, even na uh, may may client personal, I gave my number. So most likely, kung hindi sa online mag-inquire sa 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 personally. Yes. How about with the warranty? Warranty. It will depends on the uh, brand also. So what we have right now is actually yung ASUS ang magandang warranty. Kasi aside from one year store warranty, for the major parts, they offered uh, two years extended warranty for the man manufacturer warranty. So sa store naman, for example, mili kayo, we have uh, what we call seven days outright replacement. So within seven days na narilis natin yung item sa sa client, magkaroon ng problem yung item natin. We can come here. We can uh, pwede pumunta sila dito, just bring the, the receipt and then we will replace it as soon as possible. This so, is uh, like a defect or...? More, most likely defect. Kasi what we do is we will double check everything here. Kung yeah. bumili yung client dito, i-check na natin physically yung item. I-check talaga natin yan. So kung defect naman within 7 days, papalitan namin yun. Yun lang naman nagiging issue most likely sa warranty. Yung physical damage. Uh, mandatory. Talagang chine-check natin dito sa store individual item. So a lot of your clients are enthusiasts themselves, but if you're a beginner, your technicians can also build your PC for you, right? Yes, basically. Yeah. They will help build your own PC. Sometimes we do give uh, free assembly pagka kinuha sa amin lahat na. You, if you buy the entire thing here, it's free. Most likely. Most likely. <laughs> Depends how you're feeling. <laughs> not, not necessarily. <laughs> Pero most likely, almost 99.9%. <laughs> So kapag ang mga parts naman, we do accept it also. Kaya lang we do charge very minimal uh, service fee. Service fee. Okay, oh. that's, that's not too bad. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so let's see our parts. Exciting. RTS! <laughs> I don't even care about the rest. <laughs> Right, so here we have the fresh mm. ingredients for all our, our parts. <laughs> why, why do you look so excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> At we least have... toned it down a bit. <laughs> a few moments later. Wala namang science to packing. Ay, wala namang sir. Basta ma-minimize na. Oh, sir. Ito, lagay ko na, mama. Ay, grabe naman, no? No, I'll hold this. Matatulog ka, mama. Yeah. You can continue packing everything such as. It's okay if that breaks. Let's start it. If this breaks. So the hard disk we put here. Okay, yeah, let's do it. So that we can get it. This breaks. We're done. Okay. 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 And since we're on the second floor, they're even gonna help us carry all the stuff down to the car. But I'm sure Kim can carry all of it, right? Go to the gym, right? I'm just gonna carry this. I'm gonna go now. One hour later. So we're back in the studio. 
we're back in the studio. We have all the parts with us. We're about to build it, but I'm not gonna be the one to build it. It's gonna be Kim, which she has no idea about. So I'm gonna guide her step by step. She's gonna build the PC herself. It's her first time. I'm gonna have my hands behind my back. This is to show you guys that anybody can build a PC, even if you're a complete beginner, so yeah. Shh. 